What's going on, everybody? I know it's Monday morning. Everybody's back at work, dreading the job. Well, at least most people are. You guys know I'm unemployed. I'm just here on the channel for you folks. So that said, on Monday morning, I've got something really cool for you folks. It's all been rumored, and I guess over in Europe, it's been out for a while, but here in America, it's just arriving on our shores. What is that? It's the new Thermaltech. That's right, the new Thermaltech Level 10 M mouse. Now, this thing's been co-designed by Thermaltake and BMW Design Groups. This thing's really cool. Now, I don't know if it's gonna be totally all fashion and no-go, that's yet to be seen, but I do have the black one. Now, there's gonna be three versions coming out. There's gonna have their diamond black, their iron white, and their military green. There'll be three of those coming out. I have the diamond black one in my hand, and let's go ahead and unbox this thing and talk about some of the features of it as we go. Let's go. All right, folks, so here it is. This is exactly what it's gonna look like if you order it from Amazon or some of the other online e-tailers. So for now, I don't think I'm gonna need the knife. I think all I'm gonna really, really need to do is just do a couple of little rippages here. And after a little rippage, we'll get this thing out. So here it is. Level 10 gaming mouse, the level 10 M, born to be seen. Now. This thing is going to be totally programmable. It's going to have 11 programmable buttons with five different user interfaces and 128 kilobytes built-in programmability. So that's gonna be something cool. It's all supposed to be adjustable, totally adjustable that is. So anyways, I know you guys don't care too much about the box, but here's the front of it for those out there who do care. Here's a little bit of nomenclature on the side. Show the back. Show the other side. Not too much to that, right? All right, so let's see if I'm gonna need the knife for any of this. Uh, well, yeah, well, maybe not. I always like to break out the knife if I can, but this time it looks like I can get away with it and just peel the tape and tape it on the cameraman. There we go, works just fine on the cameraman. So we're gonna take it out. Let me here see here, the level 10M gaming mouse once again, born to be seen, a little tab right there. A perfect excuse for the knife, right? Yeah, right. There you go. See, I knew we could find a way to use that bad boy in there. All right. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, a little operatic moment there. All right, then. So there we have it inside the package. Even the packaging is looking pretty damn awesome, right? Yes, 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 it does. Okay. So let me go ahead and take it out of the packaging here. So here's what it looks like there. Flip it around. We'll get back to that and see what else comes in the box. There's a, a pouch, which you can use to take the mouse on the go or put into your fist and punch cameraman. Use as necessary. Pull that off, set it off to the side. The level 10 M gaming mouse. Probably gonna have the driver and everything in there. So let's pop it out and see what's all in there. Hopefully it'll have a CD in there with all these buttons and all this stuff. Should have something. Oops, didn't mean to tear the package in there. It was an accident. All right, so let's bring all this stuff out. First off, looks like we get two postcards. So these are to send to your friends and go, ha ha ha, bro, did you get one of these yet? Bet you didn't. And he's gonna be like, oh man, he's gonna buy one, he'll have two. And then he'll send you some back. So we get one, two, three, four postcards. So you can send these out to four of your friends. And these are actually the different colors we spoke of. So here we go. Military green. They're like playing cards. Military green. Diamond black. And finally, iron white. Not to be confused with Iron Mike Tyson. Toss it out of the way. And here is a little warranty policy. And yes, we do have it. The driver CD. You will need this. Now, put that out of the way. What else is in here? There's a little box. It's got a tool. Ah, interesting, 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 interesting. Now, this tool, I'm supposed, is going to be to adjust this thing. So let's go ahead and get back to the mouse. Let me go ahead and take all these little twist ties off. Once again, a good time to use the knife here. Make sure I get it away from the product. Take a nice little swift cut there. Over here, we have another one. 
a knife on in there. Nice little cut there. Eliminates all that hassle. Get that out of there. Already now. So here we go. So let's start off the top. Boom. Now, this mouse has an aluminum bottom, and the top and bottom are designed so that they look and feel like they're totally separate from each other. Notice the way that it swivels. The mouse is totally adjustable. You can adjust the height, which side to side it goes to, probably most likely with this little tool here that we have right here, which is used to adjust it. You can see it going up, going down, going up. So you guys can see that. So if you prefer the mouse to be lower to the ground, you can make it as low as your hand wants it or as high, whatever your comfort level is. Now, there are four places for lights. Lights will be underneath over here, and once again, underneath over here. And when it lights up, you can see it very well. We'll plug it in and actually show you that as we get into the dang video. So here on the side, now I'm gonna turn it. Have more buttons here. Let's see here. OFW profile, so this must be the profile button for programming your profiles in and changing them. Has a little thing right there, it's probably very hard to see. I'll try to bring this up very much closer to you guys to check this out. Flip it around, show you guys the other side, where once again we see a tool where we insert this. Now, I don't know if you guys can really see this, I'm gonna try to run this to the camera. Okay, watch. It's going to go to the left now, or to the right. Do you see that, folks? It also gives it a slight tilt as well to that. I don't know if you see that or not, but it also tilts it or you can make it just dead center, which is where I want it to be. Got two more buttons right here. The cable on the connectivity in the end. Go ahead and remove this for you folks. We're gonna see supposedly gold-plated hardware. We see that, so it's gold-plated, all nice and beautiful. I said this before, but there are 11 programmable buttons on here. There are five user profiles. This means five different people can set this up for them. And you have 11 different programmable keys, which are all gonna be modified on the on-screen interface. So right now, just from feeling it, it feels very trippy. The way that it slides side to side is going to be pretty interesting how it does. The buttons are down here on the bottom. So I'm gonna actually lower this down lower for my comfort level before I plug it in. Go ahead and take this thing as low as I can get it because my hands are a little short, little chubby hands. So, okay, that's a little bit better for me. I don't know about these buttons over here. Now, these two buttons right here, to me, honestly, are very hard to get to. My hand's gonna be up here, trying to get to these two buttons way over here, not very ergonomic. I'm just gonna say that right off the bat. So you guys can see that, getting to these buttons is gonna be a major pain in the ass. Now, the ones on this side, though, however, are no problem at all. So I'm gonna do this a little bit different for you folks. Standard hand. Mouses, buttons you can hit. This one's kind of redundant because once you, you know, program it in, unless you're five different people or playing five different games possibly, you know, you're not gonna use that very much. So for five different games, you might be using it. Now, the, once again, I say these buttons over here, not very ergonomic. I'd actually have to almost take my hands off to use these buttons. They're very far down, not liking that. So, and now let's go ahead and plug it in and we'll see what it looks like in a lit environment. All right, folks, so now we've plugged it in and we talked about what it looks like as far as changing the colors. So let's go ahead and change the colors and cycle through them. Button down here in the bottom, cycles through them. Let's hit the button. See a color change there. Another color change there. Another color change. All right, folks, now that we've showed you how it changes colors, there's actually more, I believe, through their interface. First thing I'm gonna do is you guys are gonna see this little sticker on the bottom. It says peel off before use. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take my thumbnail there and remove that off of there. Then you can see it's going to open up the optical port there so we can see the dang thing. I've just installed the disc into the system. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm going to run the drivers. You can see right here on the screen, the run setup executive. So now I'm gonna go ahead and install the drivers. We'll do it in English, just because. 
going to go ahead and just install it on my C drive. Okay, it says it's done. Now somewhere over here there should be some kind of little Jesus thing for me to go in and look at. So let me see if I can find it in here. TE Sports Level 10M. I'm going to click into it now. It's loading on the screen up here. All right, folks, so now I've installed the driver. You guys can see the screen. It's the Level 10M gaming mouse. You've got one, two, three, four, and five profiles. That's what I was saying earlier. It's all programmable. You have normal mode, battle mode. My dog is now barking. You can also see on the screen, it says that when I go to this mode, it's switched. The illumination effects will change according to the clicking frequencies. So that might be kind of interesting. Do that for another video. I just wanted to show you guys this real quick. Also on screen, you can see if I click the mouse here, you can program everything all via through here. As you click through it, it has all the different buttons. This is how you can go through and program everything. So I think for the unboxing and overview, this is pretty good. You guys have seen pretty much most of the effects. Now I'll have to play with it and see what it's like. All right, everybody. So there you guys have it. The Level 10M Gaming Mouse by Thermal Take. This has been the unboxing and overview. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, you can always show me some love by hitting that like button. Make sure you're subscribed because we're always having contests. And in case you guys missed it, yesterday we announced the winner of four of our contests just so we could get caught back up and have more contests for you folks. So that said, we'll see you back here on Tech of Tomorrow. I'm going to go off and do some gaming with this mouse and see what it's like in that arena. Laters.